So some days back we checked out a free drawing app for Android which was the high paint app and we get to know that we can create animations in the app and it seemed to be pretty similar to the animation assist in procreate so today we are gonna take a detailed look into the animation feature in the high paint app and we will see what we can create using the same so before we start don't forget to leave a like to the video and do subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos related to digital art so let's get started now first we will try to learn the animation feature in the app by creating a simple jumping ball animation in this way we will get the basic understanding of the animation but first let's create a blank canvas of my screen size and while the app loads you can check out the high paint introduction video i did previously on my channel So now we are in the app, let's turn on the animation feature. So here are the frames of your animation which are basically your layers. Right now we only have a single frame but we can create as many as we want. So our animation will have a ball falling on the ground and the speed of the ball keeps on increasing until it hits the surface and the ball stretches as it goes down and immediately squeezes as it hits the ground. So let's draw our first frame containing a ball on the top. Tap on the plus icon to add a new frame and this will be the last frame of the animation containing the ball squeezed on the ground. So these are the two main or extreme frames of our animation and now we will add the in between frames between these two frames. So now what I'll do is I'll basically duplicate the first frame and I'll change its position and shape using the transform tool like this. So you are seeing these previous frames with the lowered opacity that is called the onion skin in animation and you can control its opacity from here. Now I will draw the remaining frames. As you can see that to increase the speed of the ball, I am increasing the distance between the balls of the adjacent frames. Now all frames are drawn so let's play and see how our animation turns out. So the ball is going down and the speed is also increasing but it instantly goes up after hitting the ground. That is because we have selected the loop animation option. So let's change it to ping pong and the ball now goes back and forth just like we wanted. We can also change the speed of the animation. Currently it's running at 10 frames per second but we can change it to 24 or 60 frames per second. For now you can see that the ball is just a circle and if you want to fill it you can go back to any frame and make changes to it. So that is the final jumping ball animation and if you want to export it you can from here. You can only export the animation as a gif file or gif file. You can see the exported file in your gallery app. That would be great if they have the option to export it as a mp4 video but this is all you got right now. So that was just a basic animation to get us started but now let's make something more complex and beautiful. So here is an illustration of a beach and we are going to animate the sea waves going back and forth from the top left side of the screen. So let's create the animation. And I want this starfish and the palm leaves always visible in the animation. So I'll make the starfish layer as the background and the palm leaves layer as the foreground of the animation and we will draw the waves frames in between these two frames. So the waves initially come very fast but it gradually decreases the speed and then slowly go back. Now let's draw the frames. So 
so now i am halfway done but let's try to play the animation okay it's looking good now let's complete the rest of the frames Now all frames are done but I want to add some more details to the waves so let's do it. So here is you can create the animation in android using this amazing free app. In this video I have only animated the sea waves but you can go a step further and animate the palm leaves and also add some more elements. Ok hit the like button if you learned something in this video and subscribe if you haven't already and want me to make more videos like this. And also press the join button to support the channel. See you guys in the next video.